Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. To those of you who are watching, you'll see that me and Danny are no longer in your newly divorced dad's new apartment uh, somewhere in Myrtle Beach. No, ladies and gentlemen, we are now officially in the new office. Feeling good, looking good. Looking great. Me and Danielle spent about the last four and a half hours getting this office to look, I mean, it's passable. It's yeah. gonna look better soon, um, but we're looking good. We have the most technological setup we've ever had in our entire lives. Me and Danny have actual lights. The cameras have marked places. The wide has both of us. The live actually looks good. You what? can't see my feet. Why'd you lie? What do you mean? You lied. What marked places do the cameras well, have? Like, we're gonna, we're gonna we're mark gonna, them. But they, they, they can't, they can't like... see the floor. Danny, don't, don't give them this peek behind the curtain. That's what I'm curtain. saying. It was a lot for all of our listeners only. Uh, if you were here, you could see me looking around the room we're when gonna, Nick starts listen, mentioning shit that doesn't do exist. It. That's all that, <laughs> all that matters is that eventually it will happen. Uh -huh. Right. It's, it's the, the idea is implied. Just like how we're going to put a poster behind me right uh -huh. here because I have a big old blank wall behind me. We're going to put one. We're going to fill up Danny's cupboard over there with something that's not just hasha hashachu hashachu pikarama i think pikarama is probably better yeah uh but yeah no so i moved and it has been an absolutely insane couple of days uh i moved all the way across la from one side of la to the other side of la which uh for those of you who don't know is actually like a kind of hard yeah boy has that been a pain in the ass for my commute oh too. yeah yeah you adds like double the time you're the one who left at 3 p.m it's like double the time i work I got stuff to do, you baby. You can work whatever you want. Your life is your life is free. My life is You get to you get to wake uh, up. My life is like, difficult, hard. Okay, same thing. Um uh, other synonyms. Mm -hmm. I couldn't yeah, think of, of a third. Course, I would say um uh arduous. <laughs> yeah. Trepidatious. Trepidatious. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um you can you can just set your alarm for earlier. Or we could you can come over at 7 p.m. I don't know. No, but then I get sleepy. That's fair. <laughs> I had forgotten but, about. But, but I guess weepy. I had forgotten about <laughs> the sleepiness. Uh, yeah. So yeah, no, I moved to like uh, the a very LA part of LA, like you know, like vegan, like vegan, yeah. like beanies in the summer, like everybody's yeah. like. I you don't moved know. to, I believe, um, three nineteen uh, South Aurora Boulevard. Bingo, right? bingo, yeah. bongo! You got me. Come on yeah. in. Yeah, send some. <laughs> if you guys have any like bombs yeah. or you know like fan mail, you know, like please yeah. go ahead and send it. Yeah, it's uh, Nick, how are you doing? Tell tell us your uh, tell us how you're doing. Tell us. Your list of your fears tell me uh, your yeah, address yeah. Uh, spiders <laughs> yeah uh mashuka tensei season two nice. and uh daniel with a bald head all of those things in that exact order you know if I, I'm, and I'm just me? now seeing it if you were bald you'd look like stanley tucci <laughs> wow now I'm, okay you brought it back yeah because at first i was like wow way to make me terrified of ever going bald now mm -hmm. now that it's on your list of fears i would love to look, look like, like stanley if tucci. i look like an eighth of stanley tucci Holy shit. He's the epitome of a female he's gaze. He's a female gaze. You Easy ever see him that? just like cooking up a risotto or mm -hmm. whatever he's doing? Yeah, I get, listen, I get, a little, yeah. I get a little moist. What a handsome guy. Uh, so with me moving to a new area in a very LA area of LA, I, uh, I've, I've no longer a part of the bourgeoisie. No. Oh, uh, wait, no. I'm no longer a part of the proletariat. That's yeah, what it is. Unfortunately. I've, uh, I've unfortunately shifted uh, because recently uh, I moved and there was an Air One, which do you know oh. what Air One is? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like if it's, it's expensive stop and shop. Yeah. If, it's like if privilege <laughs> was a market. Yeah. Uh, and so there's one of those somewhat close by yeah. and Dorothy's never been to one. So yeah, she was yeah. like, let's go. And I was like, yeah, I don't have to work today or anything like uh -huh. that. Like, I can go. I can go mess around. Holy oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my God. <laughs> feels like a good time. the hell out of me. Before we get into my story, it feels like a good time to mention um, special <laughs> shout out to Secret Labs. They sent us. <laughs> <laughs> sent us a Magnus desk uh, that me and Danny just built as part of, yeah. you know, us getting ready for uh, new studio things. It's, it's a, for listeners only, it's a standing desk that none of us have really figured out yet. Yeah. Nick accidentally just made it lower on us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Uh, and in a state rampant with earthquakes, boy, did that anytime, trigger something in me. Like this 200 yeah. pound desk starts yeah. moving. That like This is honestly for an earthquake, this is the desk you want to be under. Yeah. <laughs> until it collapses. And then yeah. this is not the desk you want to be under. No, for sure. Uh, but High we'll, risk, high reward. We'll talk more about this later, but yeah, yeah I almost killed me and Danny. So uh, please don't tell me you're an Erewhon like stop with that faith it's like 30 bucks for a water bottle there well, you get okay. almond butter for yeah. like half half your mortgage i okay so we go in 
lovely little place. Stop. Just so Shut cute. up. Just so, listen, sure. Like, uh, uh, some things are expensive. Uh, they have $19 soups and a mason jar. Like, insane. I don't even buy video games that would last me dozens of hours for <clears throat> $20. Well, yeah, yeah. So, like, there was definitely, like, it was, like, Air One labeled soups. Uh, uh, and wow. that was that was not, that's not where we went. You know, we got some strawberries. We yeah. got a little, we got a little, like, grow at home uh, mint plant. Oh, you well, didn't get the clam chowder that cures cancer no, for no, $20? No, no. Yeah, no, yeah. It's yeah. like, 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 Orphan's tears yeah, are the ingredients, like, so like just stabbing them in the back. Yeah. Um, no, so we, we just got a couple of things. We got some cold food. It's pretty good. We got sushi. It was pretty good. So we're at checkout, uh, and the lady's like, are you guys members? And mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking it's like a Vaughn's oh, card, right? I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll sign up, right? We'll, we'll save some money. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, well, it's a paid membership. Oh, my and, God. And I was like, dues. <laughs> I was like, okay. And they're like, but you get 10% off like everything in the store. You get a free smoothie every month. And Whoa. mind you, these are, these are $20 smoothies. Whoa. These are $20 smoothies. That's hype. A free smoothie every month? Every That's month. super exciting. So every month, it's like, you're like, oh, it's time for my free smoothie. How much Pop is the in. subscription, though? $200 a year. <laughs> but but so but much. stick with me here. Twenty dollars smoothie times twelve. Yeah. That's two hundred and forty dollars. So as long as you get your twenty dollars, you smoothie, better be going every month. You it's can't, only. It's not that far away. Yeah. So wow. yeah, I, uh, we're now we're now members of technically Dorothy's a, me a member, and she like added my name, and I was like, oh nice. Wow. I felt like I felt like it was like a very like sugar mama moment. Yeah. For me. How's it feel to be an A list member of truly, like, the grocery store? Truly, stores? like I was like now I understand like the AMC like yeah. like hit of adrenaline to be like look at all the poor. That's the thing that all the poor. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> look at all the sad boys. Mm -hmm. That's the thing though about the AMC thing is that like you need to go like. X amount of times oh, like to five make times. it worth it. Yeah, like legitimately five I've times. I've just been donating to AMC for the past like three months. Does that make you a scab? Because I was. Are you? Yes. Are you part of the problem? Is <laughs> yeah, I think so. Are all Wait, AMC no, a list? On. No, hold on, no, 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 because, me... no because hold on, because okay. AMC is not paying actors not enough. I, actors aren't working for AMC. AMC is AMC is promoting movies. They have. They AMC have that. is a scab. Mm -hmm. And I am paying, paying them to be scab. that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> listen, I'm just spreading the wealth. Of course, <laughs> yeah. You're just like, listen, I'm, all this TikTok money, please. At take. the end of the day, I'm just a man who's forgotten he has an AMC subscription. Oh yeah, yeah, completely innocent, <laughs> yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, and this guy at the end <laughs> yeah, of the day. Yeah, do, do that completely visual joke. To okay, our audio YouTube video. will see. He it. shamed me. He did a little did. old timey shame. Wow. So I'm gonna text all the people that I know are AMC Stubbs members and just be like, hey man, like stop uh, stirring the pot. So you like, have no horse in this so race. So like SAG, you know, like, you're like do you hate that? You're or? you're like I'm gonna email Tom Cruise right now and tell him. It'd be as if you were like making videos on TikTok like once a day about like football gate. You remember when that happened? Deflate gate. Deflate gate. That'd yeah, be like of that's like that. It's like, it like you very in a much complete, affected me. In a com yo, it did it. I'm a Patriots fan. <laughs> yeah, it like did. It was like the biggest. They, they talked about it in Boston every day for three fucking years. It was wow. insane. That's like if you started making content about that. Like you would think the president got shot with how much <laughs> Deflate Gate got talked I remember, about. The fact that I know about Deflate Gate yeah. should tell you how insane Deflate Gate. Like in was. New England, it was like they're gonna they're gonna take Tom, and they're like not. It was literally like a Fourth <laughs> Amendment thing. It was like for my yeah. whole day. Hands. Incredibly brief explanation of deflate gate. Yeah. Um, Tom Brady deflated a, a football. Ball. Yeah, he deflated a football. Didn't even probably deflate it. It was it was cold and like that's wow. the way that like wow. says the yeah. says the uh, listen, Patriots. I'm a truther. What can I say? Um, so moving directly forward. Uh, I moved. The house isn't gorgeous. A uh, very, very moving happy directly with. back to our previous. Well, no, 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 no. But I'm saying I'm moving us towards anime conversation <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> because the, the the house is incredible. You're not going to see the rest of it. You know, you're going to see this office. This is the entire house. That you may be able to do a house tour and everything's unboxed. But we are far from there currently. Um, but biggest news of the week. There, I mean, there is a good amount of news this week. Uh, but the biggest and most important thing that we're going to be concentrating pretty heavily on today, the Okinawa episode happened. And JJK. Okay, yes. You've seen JJK's yeah, episode yeah. three, right? At first I was like, okay, now I'll... Bl and then, yeah. So this episode Crazy is... Crazy episode. What? Crazy episode. I, I, okay, so much going on that I need to unpack. Yeah. Um, They showed a couple of things, which was actually really cool. Uh, actually, well, I don't know if they showed... They might have showed it in the manga. It was a long time ago I read this. But were you jarred by the fact that at one point they were just in Okinawa? Yeah. Okay. Unbelievably so. Yeah. They well because the beginning of this episode. Spoilers for mm -hmm. this episode. The beginning of this episode is them being like, 
one of our members is kidnapped. Yeah. And they're like, oh shit, we got to get Rico him. Rico is like, like advisor, kind of like, like, yeah. uh, what would you say? Like watcher? Sexy girl. There I don't know. That like, works. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so if you think I was following this goddamn plot. No. Um, so she's kidnapped and they're like, we, we got to go. And the girl that is going to be Tengen Sama is like, I want to come too. And yeah. he's like, don't come. And that conversation lasts for like two minutes. And then all of a sudden it cuts. And they're just to ghetto and this girl who was kidnapped on the beach. Yeah. And she's like, man, good, good thing you guys got me. Yeah. And I'm like, what? Isn't <laughs> like, that, it's, it's exactly how it happens in the manga. It's just like one page. Like we got to go save her. And then the next page, it's just, it's just Gojo playing on the beach and they just like, have her. Why kidnap her? I, cause like, why oh, do that I in mean, the plot? They tell you why. Why? What, did you not watch the rest of the episode? No, I watched the whole thing. So the reason that they kidnap her in the first place yeah. is so Toji Fushigoro yeah. has the like the uh, members of the Time Vessel Association like kidnap her and bring her to right. Okinawa. So Gojo has to have his six eyes activated for like two days because right, they have to go really you. far to Okinawa. I gotcha. Yeah. That well because I knew that, but I had considered like. I thought just from the moment they started this mission of protecting this girl, mm -hmm. he was like, I'm just going to have my six eyes on. Like, yeah. it didn't even occur to me that the Okinawa thing lasted several days. Yeah, so he, like, he has to have his, like, six eyes on yeah. for, like, two or three days. Yeah. Um, so, like, it exhausts him. Yeah. So, like, that's why Toji's able to sneak up on him after. Yeah. Like, because, like, he lets his guard down the second they get in the jujitsu, like, in the JJK high barrier. Yeah. Um, but this director... <laughs> I want to watch every anime he's ever directed. Yeah. <laughs> like I like I legitimately. So they're in Okinawa and like the whole thing is like Rico like doesn't really want to merge with Tengen. Like she wants to live as a human yeah, being. Yeah. Right. And so Gojo and Ghetto, it's kind of cool because like obviously the characters that they become later on are like kids. Yeah. And like at this point, they're still like because Gojo is still very like fuck the jujitsu society. And Ghetto is like also very much like fuck the jujitsu society. And this is kind of the reason why, mm -hmm. because like. They like all like all the bureaucracy is like getting in the way of like us doing any actual yeah. good, and it's like Jedi, literally, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so this episode where like they're just like letting Rico enjoy Okinawa, like they go to the aquarium and all of that. That aquarium scene was perfect. Yeah, like legitimately, like I like once again I felt. Yeah, you felt. Like I just like it made me feel. I yeah. So there's this extended sequence where she's like at an aquarium and it's just like music like beautiful music playing she's just like looking at the fish and i really was like man i can't wait to hear like this was another one where i'm like i wonder if people will hate or love this i like can't tell they went so artsy like they got real like mm -hmm. your name like uh sound of silence or whatever what yeah. was the yeah so it, a silent it was, voice. Well, it's that it's, a, it's to bring it back to the last episode. It's that like orchestral music yeah, playing yeah. through extended, like beautiful but like silent mm -hmm. moments to like draw you into the situation and all of that. And like there's like legitimate directorial takes, like like the focusing on the exit sign, all of these kinds of um, things, like the whale sharks and like making her like underwater and yeah. all of that. Like all of this does technically happen in the manga, but the way that they're going about making it in the anime adaptation is so unique yet it it perfectly encapsulates what the moment is yeah they gave it a lot of time to breathe and like that like this episode even considering chapter zero all of the 24 episodes of season one probably my favorite episode in jjk history yeah like it's just everything from like the way i describe that episode is one it's the calm before the storm yeah. and that's the way it feels in the manga it's like gojo and ghetto being like silly on the yeah. beach they go to the aquarium they're in okinawa there's no sorcerers there they're like safe yeah but then they're just back like it's like it's the same thing like they never show you the travel between okinawa yeah. and back so like they're just the next thing you know is like they're fucking around in the aquarium and then he's like all right we've made it to jiu-jitsu high and like Gojo turns off his six eyes for the first time in like three days and then yeah. stabbed directly through the back yeah, by yeah. Toji. How do you feel about Toji? Um, he's sick. Okay. He's super cool. Yep. He's unbelievably cool. Love his outfit. Gotcha. For some reason, he's just in sweatpants and like a shirt. Harem pants and like, yeah, like a, yeah. Like a suction shirt. Looks very there cool. There was so many. I was one of them, but there were so yeah. many Tojis at AX. His plan his strategy mm -hmm. was so fucking sick. Yeah. It was so cool because he, I, like, something I love in, like, all media is the concept of, like, taking 
uh, like like a faction, like sorcerers, and then a sorcerer killer in yeah. showing, which is what he is, like professionally, mm-hmm. and like showing like why this person like is the one for the job, showing like what a sorcerer killer like knows counters a sorcerer. Yeah, like I'm trying to like. I don't want to use other examples because I ain't no fucking scab. Well, you know, ironically, like, a really good example from anime is Mashal. Is Mash oh, from Mashal. Because, really? like, he's a magician, but, like, a lot of magicians aren't well suited yeah. to, like, close quarter combats and just, yeah. like, taking a kick to the fucking teeth. Or, like, or you take, like, Titans and uh, the uh, Scouts, where it's, like, they have so many strategies, so many tactics mm-hmm. on how to take down a Titan. Like, usually they go for the Achilles tendons, drop them on their knees, boom, Cut neck. Their eyes out like stuff like that yeah like stuff like that like i love seeing all the strategy involved toji goes so fucking hard yeah like first he does that thing yeah he exhausts him the second he drops his barrier straight through him straight through him yep stabs him then the coolest part to me right i guess he's not a curse user so he can't set he has no cursed energy whatsoever so he has a thing called heavenly restriction which means in exchange for getting rid of his cursed energy he got blessed with insane physical feats like he's got really strong he's taijutsu yeah exactly and so like do you remember mekamaru the guy from the other school yeah so he also has heavenly restriction but it's the other way around so he he was born with like an incredibly like broken and decrepit body so he got blessed with insane amount of like cursed energy is it like that's a deal you make or just you get lucky no he's like a shiny pokemon no so like you have to like it's not like it is kind of a deal you make it's kind of confusing so like if you're born with (laughs) like an incredibly cursed body it's like you are born with the imposed restriction and like toji is born without cursed energy so he's born with like the imposed restriction but like later (laughs) down the line maki is able to impose that restriction on herself so it's kind of confusing that's so Jujutsu Kaisen is such nonsense. I literally like I'm in the process of I recently just I filmed a video explaining the culling game, yeah. which is like what happens after the Shibuya incident was oh, yeah. going to be the second half of this season. And I'm I'm sitting there and I'm like, I don't even know if I understand. I, this. And then every time I post an explanation video, there's like three comments being like, this is wrong. This is yeah. wrong. And I'm like, How do you know? How do you know? It's like it's like the director. It's like yeah. the manga code being yeah. like, nope, yeah. nope. Um, well, that's what's funny is that Jujutsu Kaisen is so weird because it's like, I, I'm so thankful that there's a lot of hand-to-hand stuff in it. Oh, dude, it's so, it's so, like, martial arts. The hand-to-hand's great, Mm. and it's very, I'm very thankful for it because anything involving powers, I'm just sitting there like, I guess this is happening. It's so boring. Like, I guess this is the power because the, there's no, like definitive like naruto also doesn't have like you know they could pull stuff out of nowhere but like are you saying naruto doesn't have hand to hand no no no. i'm oh. saying i'm saying like jujutsu kaisen i got ahead of myself jujutsu yeah. kaisen doesn't have like a definitive power system where i'm like like there's no key blasts there's no key blast yeah. there's like so people just like will do something out it's of nowhere. All, and I'm like, okay, I guess I guess that's what Gojo does. Yeah, like he makes a energy big, is he, dependent on the person using it. Yeah, and yeah. He, he like he makes a big like crazy spirit bomb thing, clears around him, and I'm like, I guess he does that. Maximum you know? output blue was one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in anime. It's him crazy. clearing out all the buildings around him. Yeah. So sick. But there's like like ghetto. Mm. He summons things. I get that. Yeah. If in episode four he breathes fire I'll have no choice but to accept that too. You exactly. know what I mean? It's yeah. like like Jujutsu Kaisen's power system isn't set up in a way that I'm like, that doesn't make sense in line with this. But like if Tanjiro literally like burned someone with flame breath, I'd be, like, be like, no. Yeah, I'd be like, that's nonsense. That's literally, yeah. you told me fire doesn't exist. Yeah. What is that? Like his hot saliva? Yeah, yeah but that's why I, I'm thankful for the hand to hand because that's when I'm like, Okay, like I, this is tangible. I get this. Yeah, like, like yeah. all of cor- cursed energy is to just get you closer to the person, so mm-hmm. you can just punch them in the teeth. Which is sick. Like literally, like it's like even like domain expansions and stuff like that are like s- to make sure that your things are sure hit. Yeah. So like it's like to make sure that my like attacks are always gonna right. hit you, and like that's the coolest part. But like. What's wild is there's a really good example of that. So later on in the manga, Sukuna is just like... Don't spoil. I, 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 like, it's not a spoil. Like, it's, so like, Sukuna's whole thing is that he has yeah. cleave and dismantle. Like two things that just cut people. And like it cuts you from a distance. But at one point, he just pulls out a fire arrow and kills somebody with <laughs> yeah, it. And like, we all just had to be like... Yeah, I guess he does that. Yeah, it was like... That was yeah. literally the public's re- like reception. Yeah. We're like... That's what I... Like with Naruto, yeah, the powers are so varied and crazy. But it's like... 
Naruto has, you know, his moves and like everything around it is like he has Rasengan, then Rasen Shuriken. He's yeah. got like 100 Rasengan. Like mm-hmm. there's no point in which he's like, you know what? Fucking shadow possession jutsu. Yeah. And it's like, oh, OK. Like that's kind of like the, what's funny is like that's kind of like late game. Naruto is like he's able to do anything, but yeah. he really doesn't. Um, But like. That has to be established with the character in Naruto. Right. It has to be like Kakashi is the copy ninja. Yeah. It has like a thousand yeah. jutsus or something like that. Like there it has to be sense. a medium for him to like get this mastery over all jutsus. But no, that's like yeah. truly like I think JJK <laughs> has the most nuanced and complicated power system since Hunter Hunter. Nuanced? Like genuinely nuanced or like just complicated? <sighs> like if if you try, can you figure it out and it's clever? Yes. Because like, I hear Hunter Hunters is like that where it's like, it's smart. It's just too smart for the average person. It's literally Hunter Hunter is like, there's like a book and yeah. you like, it's like there's moves and there's how you train in these moves. And there's like, you also have your Nen affinity and like, there's so many, like there's so many things in yeah. Hunter Hunter. JJK is the same way. Gotcha. Everything can be explained. It's just so redundant exhausting. and like so exhaustingly <laughs> yeah. confusing. Yeah. Like Hakari is a character you'll introduce, like who gets introduced down the line. The manga, when he introduces his domain expansion, does like a whole rundown on how Pachinko works, uh-huh. so you can understand it. And even then, like it's so much easier to understand in the anime. And thank God, most yeah. people just consume it from the anime because when you're trying to learn something while people are fighting, you're like. At one, trying yeah. to trying to figure out a fight in a manga, yeah. usually awful. It's tough. You're it's like, tough. Who? It did he? Who's yeah. winning? Like so, I, sometimes you turn the page and it'll be a full page spread that's supposed to like knock you out of your seat, but you're like, what? I don't. And you're like flipping back and forth, and it's like, what it, did? Oh, oh, his head is off. Yeah, he's like, just like is that. He, that's he's in the, the lower left corner. That's the fire punch experience. You never are just flying through fire punch. And pages. Chainsaw Man is very much the same way. Yeah. Um. The, honestly, genuinely, the worst offender to it though is Naruto. Because in Naruto, oh, really? like there were like there would be like in, especially in the fourth grade Shinobi World War, there would just be like massive blowout battles, and like it would be like, oh, Kakashi just got Kamui. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, is that, did the Kamui, is that what made the cataclysm? What's yeah. going on here? You know what's weirdly, and then I do want to talk about Tojo. Toji. Okay. Toji. Right? Toji. You know what's weirdly really good at, like, visual clarity? Like, I never have to go backwards. Okay. One Piece. And I know you don't read the One Piece manga. I don't read the One Piece manga, no. It's, like, that and Vinland Saga. And I know those are the only two manga I ever talk about. I swear mm-hmm. I've read more. That's fine. But those, like... There, there's an art to it, and I think what's tough about it is knowing what a reader's mind will stitch together on their yeah. own. Knowing like, what to include and what not to include. Exactly, and I think that it's like a lot of manga falter over like including too much. Like Vinland Saga, and I'll br- I gotta show you actually yeah. because I got blown away where it's just like they have one panel that's like Thorfinn like looking at a guy and the guy's coming in swinging a sword, sword over his head. Next one, like you turn the page and Thorfinn's like behind the guy doing a pose where you totally understand how he got there. Yeah, exactly how he got there. Why the guy's head is no longer attached to his body. Mm -hmm. And it's just, yeah, it's all about the lines. It's about like the line of like where the blade went and something like that. Also a good example, one punch man, one punch man's manga, like one, it's like, uh, Yusuke Muramata, I think is his name, is like genuinely yeah. the greatest like artist of all time. Like yeah. it's like he's like d- draws incredibly detailed. Like and every week, One Punch Man comes out, and every week it's like twenty eight pages. Wow! And, 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 like <laughs> in this dude, I was like, how? going crazy. Like literally, yeah. how? One Punch Man is good too because I've read some of the manga, and what all of these have in common is that the panels are like clear. Like yeah. they know when to not have a background, yeah. like just so you can see what's going on. Whereas like. Sometimes like my hero, that's it. I'm like, there's what's all this rubble it's, for? It's like, all get the this shit out of here. I literally, like, yeah. I don't know where Deku is. Yeah. I literally yeah. cannot see him. So going back to Toji, like I'm very interested to see what the public reception of anime only watchers is gonna be because oh, is he different? Well, no, no, no. He's perfect. Yeah, like he's. I couldn't imagine a better like like JJK is one of those rare opportunities and rare situations where the anime might be better than the manga. Like the manga is really good. Like yeah. there's no fault with the manga outside of like some of the fights are incredibly hard to read, but the mm. anime is a perfect adaptation. Yeah. Like and, and with Demon Slayer, it's more clear cut because the Demon Slayer mangaka, it, their art style is just not great. Objectively, it's ugly just, as hell. Just yeah. Not Everyone good. looks like an egg. Like actually, yeah. and like yeah. even in the moments like it's like when they're like little chibi and cute, yeah. you're like. 
I honestly, we could have just done the whole manga like yeah. this. It probably <laughs> would have been better because when yeah. you try, it's not great. Yeah. So like, obviously, Demon Slayer is better in the anime than it is in the manga. But like, JJK, it's just such the perfect adaptation. But Toji is a fan favorite. Everyone loves him. Like, we saw so many Tojis at AX. Like, yeah. when he shows up in the trailer, everyone freaks out. And he plays a really big Interesting. role. Interesting. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm because he's so evil. <laughs> he's like sick. He's, he's great. Exactly. Yeah. But, like, the fact that you said you love him yeah. and your anime only oh, yeah. makes me realize, like, so, okay, like, there's still going to be love for him. Yeah. Here's why I love him. Okay. So, right, his strategy is great. Yeah. The coolest part of his strategy is... He comes in, um, Gojo can't sense him because he doesn't have cursed energy. Mm. And so then Gojo destroys the area around him. So he's like, okay, this guy can't hide anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what he was doing. He was bouncing around, building to building. Um, So Gojo destroys it. And then Toji sends a bunch of like... Flyheads. Flyheads. Sends a bunch of little flies that are full of cursed energy. So Gojo can't like find him because he's uh toji has this like worm yeah. that gojo was like reading um so he sends all these fly heads makes this big like essentially cloud so he's invisible and then gojo like has this moment where he's like okay i have to find him and he's like no wait he's gonna go for the girl rico yeah and then he turns around and the second he turns around toji's there and stabs him again and yeah. it's like that was so like his plan all along was just to make gojo paranoid yeah and it was just a great like visualization of gojo's mentality like breaking down like him getting stressed on top of he's been exhausted for several days yeah. and he's like oh he like i can't see him he's coming wait he's gonna go over here and then now he's behind him yeah. like what a fucking master strategist and i think they did a really good job of showing so what he was wielding that weird looking blade is called yeah. the inverted spear of heaven it looks like a tuning fork it's weird right <laughs> yeah. but it's a it's a cursed object that actually nullifies all cursed techniques so it, oh so, it's asta sort of yeah, yeah. so like yeah. you know how like gojo has that thing where you can't touch it right yeah, yeah. uh but like mm. they kind of did a good job physically like visually it representing him yeah him busting through yeah, the yeah. barrier to gojo but they didn't really explain that so, like, did you understand what was going on there? I was fine with it because I was like, one, again, Jujutsu Kaisen's a show where I'm like, nonsense is happening. Whatever, yeah, yeah. I'm like, like something I'm will like, happen, yeah. Oh, you know, like, Sakuna could peel it away with his bare hands, and I'd be like, that happens. That's so funny that you said that. I bet it, it happens. Kind of can, yeah. Yeah. Um, Domain but like, amplification, yeah. I, I mean, sort of. I, honestly, it didn't even need to be like the Spear of Heaven or whatever. Mm-hmm. They could have just been like, gojo's exhausted it's weaker yeah you know what i mean and like that's what i thought it was mm-hmm. and i thought that was kind of cool because it was like oh the barrier is as strong as he is oh like, that would be cool i, I like the idea that it was like he just now puts the barrier back up mm-hmm. and then he's like no like you've been doing it for three days i know you can't I can maintain punch through it, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah no so it's like the inverted spear heaven is like a super like incredible gotcha. cursed object but of course it that is. was <laughs> so much more brutal than it was in the manga like obviously yeah, he stabs him three thousand times he stabs him in the neck drags it down through his <laughs> body and then like and then just keeps stabbing him in the thigh yeah and i'm like oh, what are we doing like yeah. i like uh, do you do you think gojo is dead this is a prequel what are you talking about I, do you think gojo is dead because i'm trying to i'm trying to get into the idea of like somebody who's like only watching the anime and like i was like maybe gojo's been replaced or something like no i don't think he's dead you don't think he's dead and honestly i'm kind of upset because i do think toji earned the kill (laughs) oh yeah i think i was like i like recorded my reaction and everything and like in it i'm like i i almost nothing against gojo but like he he earned it like you should stay down okay you are literally agreeing with the mangaka yeah because like he like the mangaka's least favorite character is gojo but like he wrote gojo to be like incredibly broken and now he's everyone's favorite character oh that's tough so like it's just like but there's gojo does create probably the greatest scene in like the manga in a couple of chapters and it's like you'll be like i do think toji like deserved that kill but at the same time this scene was worth it yeah, I mean, it's a great scene. At no point was I like, he's going to die. And I will never feel that way through the entirety of this prequel. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, of course, of course, like, yeah. I was, I wish I could tell you what's currently going on yeah. in the manga. I just like, I, it's so insane. <laughs> but okay. So yeah, that's our, our wrap up on JJK. Oh wait, no, the end. Oh yeah. When he brings a fucking gun. That's cheating. 
is it? That's the one thing where I was like, hold on, you can't bring a gun, my dude. That's the thing, he, though. He shoots the girl in the head. Which is a brutal moment. <laughs> it's crazy. So, so what's crazy is in that moment, yeah. like, Ghetto is like, listen, we're not going to, I'm not going to feed you to Tengen. Like, you won't merge. Like, we'll leave. So Tengen yeah. was always going to evolve. Rico doesn't have to die. Like, mm-hmm. it was like, like the Star Plasma Vessel Association just wanted Rico to not merge with Tengen. In that moment, they agree that she's not going to do it. Yeah. She's about to walk away. Yeah. The, the, Shot like, in the head. Her headband coming off because the bullet yeah. split it. Nuts. <laughs> yeah, so crazy. nuts. So well done. Crazy. Like, really nuts. Literally insane. But like, I, like that's the thing. Is like Toji doesn't follow the rules. That's yeah. the cool thing about him. It's like, if he needs to use a gun, he'll shoot you in the goddamn face. I also liked that he, because anime is very used to like, you know, having a group against a group. Yeah. Like when the shot happened, I was like, oh, who's this new antagonist mm-hmm. that uses guns? I like that Toji killed, with air quotes for audio only, killed Gojo with enough time to do a quick hop and a skip over to Ghetto. He's also... Bring his gun. <laughs> incredibly fast. Yeah, he's super fast. Yeah, he's like very, very quick. But I like that he's like, I'm... Especially because like two episodes earlier, again, as an anime only watcher, mm-hmm. some dude is like grilling him because he's like, why are you letting all these other assassins deal with it? Like, yeah, yeah. they're not going to pay you for killing Gojo anymore. And mm-hmm. he's like, they kind of portray him as this like lazy bum who just likes to gamble and so now it's like i love the second the barrier drops he's there he's on his ass the whole time has a plan kills him i'm off to the next guy (laughs) like literally and oh man it was so good good. but i want to i want to talk about i want to talk about jjk more Mm -hmm. um but i want to do a little a little next corner here because i want to talk about manga okay um manga is is cooking right now. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I just want to talk about we'll like, see. a general <laughs> premise of what's going on. So yeah. there's there's three manga currently in their final arcs, and they're three of the biggest manga on Earth. Okay. Like, what, what's crazy is by the end of this year, three of the most popular manga on Earth are going to be gone. Yeah. Like, done. That's... You know, what What do they say in the song Closing Time? Every it, new beginning is some other beginning's end. Mm-hmm. Wow. I, I can't believe it's our first closing time reference, honestly. <laughs> so we have MHA currently, yeah. which is so I wanna, I wanna talk about it, but I'm not going to. Um MHA just had one of its craziest fights with like an incredibly a character who's been sidelined for too long and yeah. everybody's been like itching for them to like finally show what they're worth um against one of the more prolific bad guys in it and like it just came to its conclusion mm. um black clover just had probably its best chapter ever nice um like i literally got like i was reading it and i i get chills like not often while reading manga yeah like it just doesn't happen because like with anime there's music there's high <laughs> right. like, there's colors and all that like like that like i get chills all the time watching anime but like reading a manga it's so hard for yeah. me to get chills and like there was just this moment when like it was just this swell of emotion like and like all of these people like on the brink of death are like pseudo saved yeah. and it was oh it was so sick nice. it was literally like i'm trying to think of like like you know when naruto shows up in the pain fight on the toads yeah equivalent to that yeah, yeah. like it was like everybody's down and out like sakura's like so like not and then yeah. like, pa, like toads like that happened in black clover yeah. and it was so dope <laughs> dude and then jjk currently is also in its final arc um and it's jjk will be wow. done by the end of the year there's another there's another one you didn't mention what vinland sagas in its last arc a vinland sagas in its last arc yeah i don't i, I thought that was up. gonna be included yeah it's in oh its God. last arc it, that's almost done wasn't too wasn't it on like a massive hiatus Oh, I don't know. Okay. I, you know, I know I come on like the Vinland Saga expert, but Uh like, um, no, I just know that's also in its last arc. But when mangaka say last arc, Mm -hmm. because this is one piece also. No, one piece. So after the conclusion of Wano, uh, uh, Oda said that they were finally getting to the one piece now. Right. So like now they're like dealing with like the biggest baddies in the one piece, like military. But yeah, so it's like, I know a lot of times like, with manga, they'll be like, this is the last arc. Mm. Some arcs last a year. You know what I mean? Like Fair. some arcs go on forever. Yeah. But so you think JJK is like actually done Fully, this year? Fully, it's been confirmed. Wow. Like That's JJK like, will be done like this six year. six months. Yeah. Wow. So we have what? Six times four, 24 more chapters max. Like it'll be yeah. like it'll, around. Yeah. Around. Yeah. Also, oh, oh my God. I can't believe I forgot this. Oh my God. Um, speaking of manga. So the Borto time skip is almost, it's almost over. Oh, um, here we go. We got Sarada's first looks. Yeah. And she looks 
sick. She looks sick. She looks so sick. Yeah. Like the short hair, the Uchiha earring, like the choker and all that. She kind of looks like Reze from Chainsaw Man. Okay. You haven't read the manga. No. No. Okay. Um, she's a bomb girl. Yeah. Uh, but she looks like kind of like Reze from Chainsaw Man. And like, I, I don't know how long the time skip is. Nobody does. Yeah. Um, and I, if one person would know, it should be me. But like, I, I don't know how long it's going to be. But like, she looks like 18. Yeah. She looks old, but also so does like Eno in like Shippuden. True. You know what I mean? Like, and you, they were 16 when they came you, back. You like can't tell. They You can never tell. You can never tell. <laughs> yeah. I recently made a video of my sweaty like shirtless One Piece updates yeah. and I'm on Zoe and I saw Carrot and I see Bunny Girl. I say I smash Bunny Girl yeah. and everyone's like, she's 15. Jeez. And I'm like, she's a rat. It's like, how could you know? How, how could, could I you know? ever know? And, yeah. Oda, honestly, I should know at this point yeah. because Oda is so bad with it. Because like, every time <laughs> every time you're like, oh, cool, mythical, cool, mythical girl, everyone's like 15. And you're like, jeez, I don't, I don't, I don't well, know like these things. You're post time skip too, right? Yeah. Everyone's like in their 20s the, now Everybody too. in the straw hat yeah, crew exactly. was in their 20s. So it's like, you would hope. <laughs> also, <laughs> apparently, Sanji's getting married, and the woman he's getting married to, uh, one of my comments was like, his wife is going to be 16. He's oh my 21. God. Oh, my, I'm my like, God. God damn it, Oda. Jeez. Stop projecting. Because <laughs> it, it gets it gets me in hot water. Because yeah. I'm like, ooga, ooga. That's I got tough. a bunny girl with D's. <laughs> I want to smash. And they're like, she's eight. Carrot is such a weird... If we're comparing bunny girls, mm -hmm. why are you all over Carrot and not like Haru? Why do you know what Carrot looks like? She... It, Hold on. No, 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 Listen, no. We're hey, not blowing. Hey, everybody. We're not blowing past this. <laughs> maybe, for, maybe I know what Carrot looks like. Okay. Ooh. She's six hundred episodes of where. Ooh, info. the guy who recommended B stars knows what Carrot <laughs> looks like. I saw you Stop having this, the presses. I saw you having this conniption. We by have the to way. talk about that. Actually, we will in a second. Everyone has been badgering us. Yes. But anyway, um, moving on. <laughs> well, okay. Wait. No. 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 Not moving on. Carrot is substantially more human than Haru. Haru. Haru is like two foot six. I'll give you that. Haru is more rabbit than girl. Yeah. However. Carrot is absolutely less rabbit than girl. That almost makes it weirder looking. No, she looks does. like a Hunger Games like freak. You're talking about You're talking about the cheetah lady? Yeah. Yeah. She looks like a freak. Well, okay. Yeah, but she's an anime character. Yeah. No. And still can't manage to look hot. Okay, if you're five foot plus with some animalistic features in a tail, I'm hitting. She's too much rabbit. She looks like <laughs> God, I keep name dropping things. It's so hard not to be a scab. I know. Okay, it's so oh, much harder than I thought it would be because I'm really trying not to. Like, I didn't even know we weren't supposed to do that. So listen, he's just proven it. It's very, it's very nebulous. AMC a lister over here. It's very nebulous. What I've done is not actual okay, anything. So we've recently also come to the so so Danny's currently. I mean, I guess we're both kind of dealing with this right now uh, because Zoe has been doing things to me that I don't appreciate. Uh, because Zoe is just an island filled with busty oh, okay. animal girls. I, for a long time, I was like, is Zoe a woman? No, no. Zoe's a place. Zoe's no, an Zoe's, island. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Zoe is just like, they're called minks and they're just animal people. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oda's going through something, huh? What do you He's mean? He's going through an awakening. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. They're called minks and they're a bunch of sexy animal people. Exactly. Like it's literally Real like, subtle. It, well, not the, they're not all sexy, just the women. Well, like that's like all of the men are just like alligators with legs <laughs> and the women are just like yeah. buxom like double d rabbits and dogs yeah. and cats and you're just like that's how it goes and, and, and sanji's running around freaking out because he wants all of them and like they have this thing where they just like snuggle with you and they say like, guard you and so he's running around snuggling everybody on the island and i'm like uh, uh, usually i don't agree with sanji because like historically he's simped for underage children yeah. but like I think I might be on his side here. <laughs> yeah, you, you're snuggling with the minxes. I'm absolutely lonely. Wow. And I'm like, I, I, am I am I learning something All about right. myself here? Let's see what these look like. Are Keep you gonna, going? I mean, Keep you going. Can, I don't know who to, I don't know who to tell you to look up. There's a minx. One there's, piece minx. There's a there's look up one piece nurse minx. I think her name is. Uh, oh, they're minx is plural it's minx, called a mink yeah it's like a like a mink with an s like a yeah. ks uh there's this one that is a nurse and it sings like a big squirrel what are you you're yes. so much more the, the, i don't know which one of us is more furry what's wrong with the squirrel they look weird no this they, looks weird no it's literally Horror a woman it's a woman with fur and a tail for some reason it's the animal choice like a sexy fox for some reason, that's fine. That's where you draw the line. Like a sexy cat, that's the okay. The Kitsuneification of America. This like reindeer thing, what I'm not reindeer? having. Okay, it. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the reindeer thing is. That we're is talking this about. a spoiler if I show you this reindeer? No, I mean that's. See, that doesn't really do it for me because I don't. I'm not looking for horns. 
But this, like... I'm talking about the squirrel. This looks like Crash Bandicoot's Absolutely, I would girlfriend. 1,000%. Wow. I, dude, listen, I have... Okay, squirrel. Squirrel yeah. girl. Yeah. More girl than Cow squirrel. Cow girl. Who is cowgirl? No, I, I'm just saying. I'm oh. saying like I'm I'm doing a, a live. Squirrel ranking. girl's a a person. It's up there. I'd say yeah. squirrel girl's a tier. I'm so dumb. I typed in cowgirl and just got a bunch of southern chicks. Oh no, <laughs> cowgirl, cowgirl with others. Furry? Wait a second. <laughs> Wait no. Wait a second. Cowgirl is your number two? No 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 no. I'm what just, are you a big udder guy? I'm doing a live ranking. Yeah, okay? I know. Goes, you did goes, number it two. Goes cat. It goes, okay, cat. And no, dog it didn't. Girl at no, the top. it didn't. It no, went squirrel. I was just going through them and saying like A, B, C, or D. Yeah. Squirrel girl's A. Cow yeah. girl's like a, like a C, B. <laughs> cat girl is S, obviously. Dog girl's okay. S. Uh, lamb girl, that's also an A. Uh, I haven't seen one sexy lamb girl You've that never I've seen gotten a sexy, around. Okay, well, then you need to, you need to get on One Piece. Sure. Okay. Otis projecting. I'll type in sexy lamb girl. I don't even know what that's going to generate. I'll type in sexy lamb furry. I don't know. God, that's going to generate. Your, the, the, your entire search history is oh, destroyed. Oh, my poor search history. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's not, like, currently destroyed to begin with. All of these lamb girls are so, like, not even... Like, you have to make Doing it look... nothing for you. You have to make it look so not like a lamb mm -hmm. to get it to look... Like None anything. of them look like the animal. The squirrel girl doesn't look like a squirrel. She's such a squirrel. And she does kind of have she's like got, the squirrel nose. Yeah, she's got, that's the thing. It's See, this whole snout. Well, that's the thing is, well, so with Wanda is like the dog girl of the island. She's got the long, she's got the long snout thing. Okay. And that doesn't do it for me. And I'm like, so I don't. So does this girl. I don't want the long, no. This they is have the, just Nami as a fucking dog. <laughs> You see where I'm getting at? What is this shit? You I'm, gave me shit about bee stars? Okay, all right. Well, listen. Bee stars are actual animals. Yeah. Full-on animals. That For some reason, that's better. There's, like, who are, we, who are we trying to fool here? At least there's no chicken girls. Okay. That's a line too far. I that's, didn't, a, that's a line too far. Also, I didn't say legume is my ideal. Your top pick. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. So, or, or, since we're, Are we since, doing a draft right now? No, since we're talking about it, yeah. we got to talk about how all anime characters are technically cats anyways. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been tagged in this relentlessly. So much. So there was a vi there was a bunch of tweets, I guess, where apparently most anime character designs, mm -hmm. like most most, are like if you if you think of the general like look of an the anime side character, profile of like like no no well, like a nose like, but like, like an angel beats like uh, an assassination classroom the like scoop nose without like the bob you know like it just like it goes like a little ramp and then it's yeah. like it's like and then the ramp also becomes part of the like the mouth if you look at like deku from the side any anime any, side profile any anime side profile that's a cat outside of jojo's their eyes are like cat inspired they're all cats yeah. naruto obviously he's got whiskers full no one, on no one ever talks about naruto has whiskers what do you want us to say why does this man have whiskers oh, you, are they scratches no they're whiskers yeah, they full on are whiskers yes they feel things no. like can you clip them that actually is a really good question they they grow they technically grow and get darker um let me you can me, clip them i no well i don't know okay so let me <laughs> let me explain so naruto was obviously kushina's his mother while kushina was pregnant with naruto she was the jinchuriki of the nine tails so the current theory is that because kushina was the like the jinchuriki of the nine tails that naruto came out with whiskers <laughs> like because he's bored with whiskers before he's even a jinchuriki when you see him he yeah. has whiskers so it has nothing to do with karama being inside of him however in the early days of naruto when he gets angry and karama's chakra comes out his whiskers get darker and larger wow. so like do they ever go off his face i don't think so then maybe they're scars no 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 they're like full-on whiskers like they're at least supposed to be whiskers like someone can pull them i don't know then they are scars but no one's ever established whether or not they are or are on like like nobody's ever like you've never seen a side profile of naruto and there's been and like, they're coming off yeah you've never seen that then like, they are scars on his face i think i mean like yeah they're probably like markings yeah like they're like tattoo lines. Yeah, I yeah, say yeah, yeah. Scars. Then they're but they're not hair. Is no. what I'm but saying. What's weird is that Boruto and um, uh, Himawari. Yeah, Boruto and Himawari have two whiskers. Okay. Because they're one generation removed from Kushina being pregnant <laughs> okay. with Naruto. At least is the current theory. Yeah. So like yes. Anyway, all anime characters are cats. Are you mm -hmm. alleging that Naruto is a cat boy? Yeah, he is a cat boy. He has fucking whiskers, and then he growls and has fangs and sharp nails. He actually, and then his chakra cloak in the early days does get ears. He's a fox boy. Yeah, and then he gets ears. Fuck, you're right. Yeah, I and a tail. Naruto might be might a, be a cat boy. 
I just this is doing a lot. I don't. I just never it's really, doing a lot for you. It's not doing, doing anything a lot for, for you. Don't, don't you dare. Huh? Interesting. Don't, don't you dare allege this on me. I think we got to do a draft of sexiest animals sexiest. that can become people. This has definitely got to be. Do you think that should be our draft? Right today. Today, considering we don't have one. Yeah, I think so. We should do that. We were also going to do a tier list, though. just on the spot. You yeah. you want to you want to go? Let's I get go. to go right first. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Today, me and Danny are going to be drafting the sexiest animal people in anime. And since Danny went first, I'm going first this week. And at number one, give me the cat girl. Cat girl. Cat girl's good. Are we talking just ears? Ears, tail yeah. doesn't matter. Any iteration. Yeah. Cat girl's good. I'm going to take like wolf. Wolf girl. Wolf girl. Yeah. Kind of a cheat. They're very similar. It, yeah. I mean, I feel like you can barely tell the difference between the two, but I'll give it to you. I mean, yeah. it's dog. Yeah. Um, I guess, does that mean I can't take dog girl? Cause here's the thing. Can't here's take the thing. dog girl. No, I feel like I definitely can. <laughs> I feel like I definitely can. Yeah. Because here's the thing. Wolf yeah. girl ears up. Dog yeah. girl ears down. Like floppy ears? Floppy ear dog girl. You know what? Let me, let me check the books. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's good. That's uh, good. Let's go, yeah. baby. Okay. Does it have to be and like... Does that be anime? Because I can't think of examples, but I can think of like I can think of like an animal well, that I'd would be sleep sexy. With. As <laughs> yeah, like, I can think of an animal I'd maybe sleep with. You know, <laughs> just go with it. Um, See where it takes you. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I believe in you. I feel like a ferret girl would be good. A ferret girl would bendy. be good. They're flexible. They're flexible. They're flexible. I, They're like a dog, kind of. It would be weird because, like, I don't know how you would confer that to a human, but I like that pick for you. Yeah. Wild I'm, that you're leaving Rabbit Girl for me at third. That's yeah, the, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. It could have been a first round pick. No, Incredibly right. easily. Damn. The, I, dog, I was stalling cat, for time. <laughs> I Dog, cat, and rabbit out the gate. You can't give me that. There's an anime with a cowgirl, right? Absolutely. But she's got udders. Uh-huh. Oh, well, well, that mean, sucks. You can save without udders. No, I can't. Absolutely can. No, that's cheating. Ah. That's like cat girl, but no ears. I literally have an entire uh, like oh, thing yeah, of stickers of here. there's let literally look here. there's literally an entire thing of stickers there. You know of what? Certain like characters in like cow bikinis. You know who am I trying to fool? I'll go cow girl with others. Nice. <laughs> Lean yeah. into it. Why not? Yeah. It's like uh, what is that farm animation cartoon? Uh, like on the farm or something uh, with no all idea. the cow girls. Uh, dude, no- like fucking ooh more boobs. Oh. God. God. Yeah. Oh, free milk, <laughs> yeah. whatever will I do. Coming in at number four, uh, feels pretty, pretty easy here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with reindeer girl. No chance. It's listen, no chance. I don't love horns, but like we're getting into the lower rounds here. No I, got, I gotta go with my gut here. Absolutely no way. Um I can't I like can't think of animals <laughs> that exist. Not, not that a exist singular at animal. All. Lamb. Lamb girl. Lamb girl. Even We've, though I just said I wouldn't. Yeah, of course. And yeah. I said I would do a reindeer, but here we yeah. are in the deeper in the deeper parts of the okay. draft. All right. Lamb girl at number four. At number five. Yeah. Last one. Round it all up. Give me the sweep. Go to mouse girl. God, you're good. I'll take a mouse girl. God. Easy as that. You get the little circular ears. You get the little flimsy tail. I'll take it. Snake girl. Snake girl. Snake girl. That's a dom. No, that's yeah. that's I literally just remembered Mashu. I literally just remembered Monster Masume. Yeah. I don't even I didn't think of bird Listen, girl. I, I didn't think of spider girl. Snake girl is the main, it's the main love yeah. interest in Monster Masume. Snake girl is a good I'm not into scales, but like you know a snake girl is freaky as I hell. I can't believe I forgot. There's Got like fangs? a whole there's like a whole thing where she's shedding and it like it's apparently like a very sensual situation. Oh. You should watch Monster Masume. I don't know. Though. If you're grappling, oh, none of us had octopus. Octopus girl is a good girl. I think I'm okay on octopus girl. I feel like octopus girl. I feel is like solid. I feel like I haven't seen it before, and I feel like that's for a reason. <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like no one's ever broached that. They're I, like, <laughs> what what hole do I use? And I don't like that's. Mm. I feel like that's solid. Snake girl fangs. Final pick. What a bad draft. That's actually no. <laughs> <laughs> what a bad time. What a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Holy shit. Can't believe we did it. It was was your idea. Yeah, unfortunately. Technically not even the worst game we played. I think it'll bang. I think it'll do well. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I got dog girl, cat girl, and bunny girl is easy. Uh, All right. So outside of manga and somehow getting to the topic of us both being furries, um, outside of that, I'm still waiting on somebody to tell me uh, that a random anime this season is fire. 
Like, because yeah. I'm, I'm currently just watching three anime and I feel as though I'm so empty. I feel like Zom 100 is the one. But I, we know that. I feel like well, it has so much hype. That's nobody else's fault. That's your fault. <laughs> Wait, I, guess, I, guess, I guess, but like. That's like I, being like, I'm waiting for someone to tell me a, a good anime is out this season. All I'm watching is Trigun, Blue Lock, My Hero, Chainsaw. Like, I, but going I through usually, all of them. I usually watch five or six anime a, yeah. a season. And right now I'm watching three. And I'm like. I have no episodes to watch right now. You know what I hear is actually good? What? What's that one? It's like a fucking paragraph title. It's like cooking in another world. Cooking in another blah, world blah, blah. with my special skill or yeah. something like that. that I hear that's that, not bad. That's not the season, I don't think. No? That's like Daniel Duane. is like favorite I know anime. he loves it. He that's, loves it. That's who has been telling me. Yeah. It's like super just chill. Yeah. It's just like a story about like a man who cooks. Like, yeah. At, like cooks his way out of problems. Great character designs. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Like it awesome looks absolutely gorgeous. Thing, yeah. So like, yeah, if you, I don't know if there's any anime out there that's like two or three episodes in right now and yeah. you're like, Hey Nick, please watch this and talk about it. Like, please like, like hit me up. I'm like desperate for info here. Yeah. So should we do our tier list? So me and Dan are going to be doing a live tier list of all shown in anime because we feel as though people aren't mad enough at us. And I want you guys to know, uh, there's a couple of different categories here. So we're going to be talking different shown in anime and where we place them and why how many are there oh uh, what jesus uh, christ so All we'll right. go relatively quickly yeah um but there's s a b c d both have never seen will never try Ooh, yeah, I like that. that's pretty good um so first up we have seven deadly sins never seen never try next I, the, I honestly I was gonna say that regardless of what you said, but that is true. Okay, you haven't seen Seven Daily Sins. <laughs> haven't okay. seen it and won't watch it. I'm gonna put it at C tier. Yeah. Um Seven Daily Sins, the first two seasons are really good. Yeah. They're like really, really good. Like the animation's on point, the characters are interesting. As I get older, I realized I hate Meliodas. Yeah. Uh, he's just the typical perv main character. It just it gets so old. Like it just I'm so tired of him like upskirting Elizabeth. <laughs> like I get it. They've yeah. been together for thousands of years, and that's why he's able to be a three thousand year old dating a 16 year old like they've been through certain like millions of different iterations of dating each other and they can never truly be together it's a shame but like yeah. at the same time bond is also dating like very clearly a lolly and oh. like the whole thing is just uh, it's it's C, honestly c feels high but like the first <laughs> two seasons are so good i have to give it to them uh after that netflix stopped caring yeah. the animation went down the down the hole the newest movie the 50 the 55 minute movie yeah worst animation i've seen it felt like cyberpunk like why that, did we put this out that's what i hear and honestly i just just hate what it looks like yeah like i really don't like the character designs it's all very ugly dragon ball super got its entire movie stolen had to remake it in cg and it still looked better yeah like how how, how do you fuck that up so badly okay uh attack on titan b tier b tier as we for sit sure. at our attack on titan sponsor attack on desk. titan is like genuinely in my opinion the most overrated anime i a lot of people answer that at ax yeah. like yeah it's because it's good. The world's great. Concept's amazing. The, like, like 3D gear's awesome. Like, mm -hmm. season one and, like, the manga equivalent to season one, really great when it's a big, like, mystery and, like, everyone's just trying to, like, survive the horror of the Titans. As it gets more convoluted and weird and the pacing just is nonsense. Yeah. It's, like, I, it's, like, way less engaging to me now as, like... Now that it's all like bogged down and it's a weird bloodline shit. Yeah. I think the expanding of the universe kind of like at one point, like it did kind of help it. You're like, oh, a new thing. And then yeah. it was like, I don't think Isayama knows what he's doing. Yeah. Like I was like, it's like the whole expansion of the universe. He's like, I've now made a morally incorrect, incorrect main protagonist. And like, that's kind of cool, but there's like fascism apologists <laughs> happening because of it. So it's like, yeah. It's kind of somewhere in the middle. I think B is a good, I, I think if you put it in A, that's fine. If you put it in S, I understand that it got a lot of people into anime, but for me, I'm not like, oh my God, Attack on Titan is bad. I think you're nuts if you put it in S, but that's okay. Yeah. I mean, but like, just for engagement, I think you're nuts. Yeah, like I, <laughs> yeah, that's fair, genuinely. Uh, assassination Classroom, S tier. C. No way. I think it, I think it depends on like what you, in the grand scheme of anime, it's like so okay. It's like my fifth favorite anime. Of really? Time. I fucking love it's Assassination so, Classroom. What's, what's below C? D. And then is that it? Both I've never seen and then will I never try. I guess B. Because it's like, it's okay. I think it's okay. It doesn't move me to tears. The ending is one of the most devastating things to happen in anime, period. There's like three in an ensemble cast. There's like three notable characters. Karma. Um, Nagisa. Nagisa. Kuro-sensei. 
kind of the Itona. teacher. No, the other teacher. Oh, Kar- Karasuma. Yep, the hot other teacher. Uh, Yelovich. They're like, what's the one with the other tentacles? Uh, yeah, they're kind of cool. cool. I like him, Itona. Yeah. But they're like, but like rank them against like A tier characters, like no I chance. Guess. No, you're absolutely right. It's like a fun meme anime. It, it well, that thing is like yeah. you you go into it and you're like, what is this? Yeah. And then you're like, I hurt well, everywhere. But that's the thing. It's like on one hand, is it like an S tier meme anime, mm-hmm. or is it like because is it is it like oh like you know it's not as good as Death Note, and then people are like, yeah, no shit. I don't like, know. It's better than Death Note. I'd argue it's better than Death Note. Hey, listen, there's no fall off. There's no there's no L's death. But there's no fucking like baseball or bug catching episode in Death Note. Well, yeah, but there's it's also, a bunch of nonsense. There's, there's no traps in Death Note. There's okay. A, there's a bunch of fucking like filler there's no Nagi, episodes. There's no oiled up Nagi son start. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right, Danny. <laughs> There's a bunch of filler episodes in this anime that has no filler. Yeah, that's genuinely very fair. Is there? No, there's no filler. There's no filler. It's just like, but they're kids in high school trying to live a somewhat regular experience they're, before the earth is destroyed. It's good. It's okay. It's an okay. It's a six to seven out of 10. Wild. Yeah. Wildly low. All right. B-Stars. B-Stars is A. <laughs> B-Stars rules, dude. Drops off a little in season two. Gets a little too heated with the mafia shit. Season one of Beastars is A. I'll, if you want to settle, if you want to bargain, because I fucked you on Assassination Classroom, <laughs> we're we can B. put in B. We're going B. I got eight <laughs> episodes in, and we realized I hadn't lost the game, so I stopped watching. There's a cool time. There's a cool story of, like, nature versus nurture. How do you do? Like, like how do you work your way in a society where yeah. society doesn't accept you? I think that's interesting. Stop making the bunny be naked. I listen. I just like stop. Like don't get rid yeah. of the bunny porn. Uh, stop having the 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 antler ridden Louis reindeer. Antler ridden. I, I was trying to think of what the word was. It's a deer. Just infested with antlers. Yeah, this deer. Oh, <laughs> stop growing. I have so many antlers. I have tusks. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard everywhere. Okay, B's fair. That's B for B stars. Uh, yeah. Black Clover. Um, I I don't think I'm deep enough for it to be good yet. Everyone keeps telling me I'm just before it gets good. I'm giving it an A. Um, insane from what I've seen of both the movie and wh- how far I've gotten because it seems so derivative. It, it seems like it's a good knockoff. It's no, yeah, it is. I mean, it's yeah. Naruto knockoff. It's a good knockoff, but. A shouldn't good original shit be a? I listen. I think it does the shonen trope perfectly. Mm-hmm. I think it is the best ensemble anime ever made. Mm-hmm. Um, every single character in the black, like in the Black Bulls, in the Golden Dawn, like you know their motivations, you know their names, you know their powers, like you know what. Get, like and like it doesn't seem like we're overly focusing on minor characters gotcha. ever. It's just through like the storytelling, I understand every single one of these characters and why they give a shit about what they give a shit about, and like because it is a masterclass in character building, yeah. I can't put it below a i'll give you that it's great at characters it's better than a lot in characters like you've said with my hero it's like i don't know dick about the frog girl i don't know dick about denki like yeah but i know tons about like foy goleon in the little i've watched i think mha is the perfect example of how not to do an ensemble anime but like obviously it's carried by incredible moments in the main cast but yeah all right bleach that's all you haven't seen i wish you could separate thousand year blood war arc from the rest of the show (laughs) because thousand year blood war arc is like a to s yeah um but the rest of the show like uh hueco mundo awful a wrong car arc awful uh (laughs) hueco mundo's no it's it's bad it's bad in the anime as a manga s tier easily yeah as an anime which which is what we're talking about mind you um i would say i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a b wow uh just because like the Soul Society arc is one of the best arcs out there. It's really good. What do you give it without Thousand Year Blood War? C. Interesting. I want to know how much Thousand Year Blood War like drags it up. Thousand Year Blood War arc by itself should yeah. be an A to an S. Gotcha. Uh, but it's also not like it's it's 200 chapters out of a 660 chapter manga. Yeah. yeah. So it's like true. It, it's not enough to like fix it. And it's also yeah. right at the end. And also it was rushed. Yeah. So like, it, like Tite Kubo didn't get to like do his much. Like, the manga should have been 750 chapters, yeah. but Tite Kubo didn't get to do that. Cause his editors were rushing him because everyone was like, I'm not loving yeah, this. Wrap you know? this up. Exactly. Yeah. So it, it's just like ugh, the Hueco Mundo, the Aronka arc is so fucking bad. And then the bounce arc is just 40 episodes of filler. And then even the, um, 
uh, what's the last arc before the Thousand Year Blood War arc? Fullbringer arc isn't great. Damn. So yeah, it's it's a B. It's fine. Uh, Blue Exorcist. Haven't seen. Neither have I. Uh, <laughs> so that one was easy. I've heard it's very good. Boruto. Haven't seen. The anime is, yeah, it pains me to see. There's, yeah. It's the, it, literally a record-breaking amount of filler. It's 75% filler. Mm. It's like 60 canon episodes and almost 300 episodes of, of the show. It's not good. Yeah. It's not. I mean, the moments that are canon are A tier, I would say. Uh, if you just watch, just watch the canon, but you can't take like that. You have to look at the whole anime yeah. as a whole. It's, yeah, yeah. it's C tier. Uh, Chainsaw Man. Chainsaw Man's S tier. S tier. Yeah. Our first S tier anime's fucking I, Chainsaw I'll Man. Literally, if we get to another one that I'm like S tier and you're like, no, that's D, I will give it up. Listen, I will I, I would put it at that A. one. I would put it at A. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here in front. Ch- a or B. Chainsaw Man is A or B. Get out of here with your B. I, Chainsaw, the manga is S tier. Chainsaw sure. Man, the anime. There's 12 episodes. Watching watching Jujutsu Kaisen season two has made me love Chainsaw Man even more because I have this sliver of hope that anime is getting artsy now mm-hmm. and getting emotional and impactful, like in a way that like, it's not just the writing because usually it is like for a lot of anime, but now it's like the score is crazy and they're doing weird shit with the animation. It's fair. I will give up my S chip of any this other. This is your golden buzzer? This is my golden one. Like yeah. it, uh, we have to slot in S tier. Yeah, I got you, Fuck of course. Fuck you, trash taste. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Say that out loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Fuck you guys, most popular anime <laughs> podcast on earth. We don't even want to work with you. Uh, I'll take S. You know, mm-hmm. you know, I'll give it S. You know, in 12 Ooh. episodes, it's accomplished a lot. Yeah. Uh, Himino's moments, the obviously. The Himino episode alone Very impactful. Yeah. Katana Man, really cool. Yeah. I love Kobeni. I, I love, Chainsaw Man is probably my favorite manga on earth currently. Wow. Um, wow. I love it. I love it so much. Against Hunter Hunter? Hunter Hunter hasn't oh, like currently like running. Like if it was gotcha, Hunter Hunter gotcha. Hunter was currently airing, yeah, absolutely. But gotcha. like uh, currently yeah. coming out weekly, it's this or One yeah. Punch Man. Uh, Death Note. B. Uh, yep, it I really agree. falls off. I agree it with It falls you. off too hard. It's at, When L dies, it's just not the same shit. Yeah, yeah. It's B. just like, I, and then the ending is meh. Yeah. You know, like obviously like, yeah. you know, Light like should die. Like he's yeah. playing God. Um. It's just L and light are what carried it and yeah. feels like a hollow replacement. It get it's really good pre his death. Yeah. But boy, oh boy, does it take. And boy, oh boy, is it a lot of episodes in a small. It's like it's 12, like eight or nine episodes. It's yeah. like, I think it's 12 episodes out of like 30. Yeah. So it's a third of the show that sucks. It's like, just, yeah, it's just like yeah. N and you're like, yeah. I have no passion for you as yeah. a human being. Yeah. yeah, that seems fair. We agree. Demon Slayer. With the current season, I'd give it A. A. I think season two and the movie, S tier, phenomenal. Yep. I think like season three brought it down a little. Mm-hmm. Uh, and season one is very okay. In in like the defense of Demon Slayer, there's nothing wrong with season three. Like yeah. as uh, like as application of anime, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just the Swordsmith Village arc is less interesting than the Entertainment District yeah. arc, and also less stylized. Yeah, because like the background of them being in like the Red Light District and like it all being at night and like the colors yeah. and like the way yeah. they can score it, especially with Tengen using like sa- like sound breathing yeah. uh, and like the explosions and all of that. Like there's more technical cool things they could do yeah with that in order to like make it look sicker a lot is ha- it's also like season two has so much momentum yeah and there is a lot going on in season three but i've gotten so many dms and comments of people being like nothing is happening yeah and i think the fact that it all that matters is it gives the feel of nothing is happening exactly it doesn't matter that like oh well this is happening and this and that like because if people both are bored, of the fighting styles of of tengen not tengen yeah tengen uh yeah. tengen and gyotaro are so bombastic yeah. it's like gyotaro making like the blood cycle like yeah, sickles yeah. and then tengen like spinning his blades it's just such a physical like visual spectacle yeah and we don't have that with season three because it's like Han Tengu like making like like shooting like it looks sonic good. waves it, yeah. out of his mouth it like looks as good as it possibly can yeah. it's just like you said a weaker arc like manga wise yeah exactly okay uh after that we have dr stone 
Haven't seen it. Which you haven't seen. It is... I hear incredible. It's really good. Yeah? It's really yeah. fucking good. Yeah, I'm putting it in an A. Yeah. Um, it is... Uh, I just... Senku is one of the best MCs out there. Yeah. He's awesome. Uh, he's just like... <laughs> all of the side characters... Like, I wouldn't say the ensemble's perfect, but like, you know their motivations. They all fall into like archetypes. Like, it's yeah. very like tropey. <laughs> uh, like, it's just like, oh, gorilla, a strong girl, uh, okay. a ditzy... <laughs> Yeah, all the archetypes. Uh, a gorilla. A, a hot yeah. girl, a uh, edgy rival, a gorilla. A man in a gorilla suit. Like <laughs> yeah. a scariest episode. Yeah. Oh, I mentioned it too. Yeah. Oh, geez. It's hard. It's hard not to. I know. That's we right. stand, though, with the strike. We just so you know, we're sitting technically, but yeah, yeah sure, whatever. Um, but yeah, no, Senku's top tier, and then like just like the premise of having to recreate the world from a stone world, absolutely incredible. Uh, Dragon Ball. Uh, Z regular uh it, I'm what's just, the picture i'm working on it looks like a fully grown gohan then it's all of it yeah I is, look i'll do disclaimer i suppose like uh. dragon ball regular and z b okay super D. Let's split the diff and call it a C. Yeah. I'm feeling like it's a C. Wow, that... people will be so angry. Oh, there are goes mad at us. everybody. Yep. There goes every viewer we've ever had. Oh, that's, Holy shit. That's just not gonna be okay. So here's my thing. Um the pacing on Z, nightmare. nightmare. So bad they had to remake it. Yeah, yeah. Um GT, not Ken. You know, it's yeah. just like, but like some of the coolest transformations, yeah. obviously. I, I'm not I'm not taking away like what Dragon Ball did for anime obviously massive yeah. but other anime have just done it better since super is just so insulting and like with the legacy that Dragon Ball has yeah. and with like modern animation time like uh there's no excuse for lazy, super to be as like lazy choreography, and bad. yeah yeah there's no excuse for it to be as lazy and bad as it is and yeah, the pacing of Z is rough, but it's great. It's got great moments. Oh yeah, some it's, of the best. I think I'm just saying, it's not that Z is like bad. It's that Super is so bad. It is like anchoring it through yeah. the floor. It's your friend who can't swim, just yeah. pulling you down <laughs> yeah. slowly but surely. All right, uh, Fairy Tale. You haven't seen? I, I haven't seen. Can I give a prediction? Yeah. C. It's fair. Yeah. Uh yeah, I'm, I've only seen 150 episodes. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, I got to the I got to the part where there was just like villains whose entire like kit was that they fart. Yeah. And I was like, oh. I think I'm too old. Oh. I was 16. I was wow. 16. And I was like, I'm done. No, don't you dare come in here, Wagyu. Oh my too god. Too many cords. Holy shit. Too many cords. Oh no. I actually, oh no. No. Oh, wait, no. stop him. Stop him. The wait, lighting. Wait, the wait, light. Wait. Stop the light. Okay. Gotcha. Oh yeah. Back to it. Back to it. What are we talking about? Oh, uh, fairy tale. Fairy tale. Yeah. Fairy tale to me seems like hornier black clover Bingo. that's all it seems you nailed it yeah and it's just like i don't know the character development isn't as good uh yeah. like gray is a cool character and that's about it uh full moon Alchemist brotherhood i'm answering for you this is my s tier done perfect anime. Fair. love it's, it it's there i don't i don't need to say anything else it's yeah. the perfect anime it accomplishes in 60 episodes more than almost any show accomplishes in 300 400 yeah uh perfect characters perfect arcs perfect yeah. por like power system it's, um I'm 22 episodes in, like, I am down with the S. It's, yeah, it's perfect. Uh, next up, Gintama. Haven't seen it. I have a close friend who would call it an S. It's very good. He loves it's it. It's the funniest. It, it's, like, there's the big three, and then there's Gintama. That's which, what, yeah. yeah, it aired simultaneously. Yeah. It's, like, almost 300, I think it's 300 plus episodes. Uh, I think it's, like, a hundreds and hundreds of episodes though there's hundreds and hundreds of movies oh uh, really yeah. remember because when we tried to rank them yeah, every single movie that. um probably the funniest out of the big four i would say if you're gonna call it the big four yeah. it's it's hilarious yeah uh so much filler oh that so, sucks. like an insane amount of filler yeah. uh if you just watch the canon stuff not yeah. only is it funny the power systems are cool there's like so many characters that you'll just love uh but the filler is absolutely insane hunter hunter s tier wait uh, where'd you put it at b oh b Gotcha. Hunter Hunter S tier. Sure. Perfect. That's your thing. It's if, if Full Metal Optimus Brotherhood was 170 episodes long, it would be Hunter Hunter. It's a perfect anime. If you don't agree with me, I'm sorry. You have bad taste. Uh JJK. It's it's a weird time to rank it anywhere. I'm putting an S. Is, I, that's gotta be your gold coin then, because I will drag it to B. Really? Yeah. Hundred percent. Such buzz. a B. That's my golden buzzer. JJK, JJK season is, one, such a B. Such an okay. Just just, and that's next to B stars, so that's still good. That's the line. Is oh, JJK's yeah. that no? Okay. B stars is way better. Listen, than JJK. my golden buzzer, JJK yeah. is S tier, uh, especially with this season. That the most recent episode, 
insane. One yeah. of the best episodes of it, anime I've ever seen. It's on its way. Season two, if I'm just looking at three episodes of season two, mm-hmm. and it's like, I, I get three episodes of every anime, mm. this goes up there. This goes A to S for sure. Gotcha. Season one, B is hell. <sighs> It's just like, okay, like, obviously, season one doesn't stretch any boundaries. Yeah. Season one doesn't, like, break any molds. But, like, one, probably one of the best-looking anime seasons ever. Two, like, a good introduction to the power systems. Incredible characters. Nobara, Yuji, Megami, like, uh, Tsukuna, Gojo. All of them yeah. introduced. Incredible. So, that's my golden buzzer. Easy JJK, <laughs> S-tier, JoJo's. Um, you haven't seen it. I've seen season one and two. So have I. Oh, I dropped in Stardust Crusaders because wow. I got bored out of my mind. I right, listen. That's I, that's one of the ones where I was talking about Assassination Classroom, though, where it's like, am I comparing it to like Death Note? Because it's like what's so hard about talking about JoJo's mm-hmm. is you're like, yeah, it's just a bunch of nonsense. And then people will be like, yeah, it's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> what do you expect? A little silly. Yeah, it's like. And so I can't even fault it when I'm like, it's too weird and not enough plot. Yeah. If you were like, not enough plot, like go fucking die. Do you know how many, there's like so many chapters. There's like, so like, like a 700 chapters. It's been going so. on since the eighties. I know. Like, yeah. Like he's the man is just refuses to stop working. I think it's really okay. Like, I just don't, I guess I don't get it. I B. I right? guess I, I, or C? I would honestly, I'd like to say both have never seen. Okay. Cause like I, Cause it's not enough seeing. Well, no, like there's just six seasons. Like, and yeah. Stone Ocean is still going on. Stone Ocean, mass, like everybody loves it. Yeah. I don't know enough about JJBA. What do, put, what do you put one and two at though? Season one, season two. The official rating is both have never seen. B. B. Yeah. B. Uh, yeah. Star, but those are regarded as two of the worst seasons. Yeah. People yeah, actually yeah. like Stardust Crusaders, and then everything after that, like Diamonds Are Forever, uh, and stuff like that, is like people love. Um, I, I've heard great things about Stone Ocean, but both have never seen. Uh, I'm going to bring us to our last one here uh, because I think we can do another tier list. Actually, you know, sure. let's make that our because like I, I'll, let's just use all the ones that we haven't used and sure. we'll, we'll yeah. have that be our tier list. So yeah. that's it. Woo. JJBA uh, D tier. It's bad. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Obviously, we haven't seen enough yeah. of it. We'll outside do, of that. We can do part two next week. We'll do part two next week. I love that. Yeah. Um, so outside of that, you want to talk about our best boys? Yeah. Do you want to know who my best boys? Yeah. To you. Because oh. you helped me build all this. I did do that. Me and Danny. You got to stop making your best boy people we know, though. This is Why? like the third week in a row. It's nobody gives a shit if your best boy is me. I, I guarantee you every single one of our podcast listeners wants me to talk about you being best boy. Wow. They love our friendship. Well, here I am, the only person who could be angry about being best boy. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, how, how do you take this the wrong way? <laughs> Danny told me recently about the Uh-oh. beginning of the podcast while we were setting this up, and he was like, it's crazy that you just DM'd me, and I was like, well, oh, I didn't yeah. give you a choice. Yeah. I, just, I told Danny, I was like, we're going to make a podcast, and he was like, I'm moving to LA in a month, and I was like, listen, I have an idea, and you're coming along for it. <laughs> well, Nick DMs me as, like, this YouTuber with, like, 200K plus subscribers Back at the time. Days. Yeah, and, like almost a million tiktok followers and i have like that has not changed (laughs) i have like 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 100k tiktok followers at the time no you don't you have more than me you've always had more than me as long as i've known you you've had more followers if i have to make you say a little old me i'm a little youtube page at the time for sure but uh, but anyway i was like no you had 80 grand at the at the time 80 grand i've never heard that not said about money Oh, yeah, you know? I guess. I was, like, weighing. I was yeah. like, is this enough clout yeah. to get on this podcast with me? <laughs> yeah, I was like, is that, he, he going to bring anything? That's so reasonable. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. But, um, but, yeah, so I was like, oh, my God, this big Naruto YouTuber wants to speak with me. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. And the first time we hung out, you took me to a real snazzy-ass place. Where did I take you? Star Night. Oh, yeah. You, you, you took me to this, like, Korean barbecue place yep. that is, like, and you just whipped out the credit card, and you're like, all right, everyone's getting soju. We're doing three rounds of this, and you're going to keep it coming. Like, what, did you, what did your roommate say that I reminded you of Justin Timberlake? From I in, said that. Oh, In Time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From, not from In Time. I don't, I don't remember from what it's called. From The Social Network. <laughs> the Social Network. Oh, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, you're gotcha. Like McConaughey from Wolf of Wall Street. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. Fucking until one of us passes yeah, out, baby. it was very that energy. Okay, but, but yes, Danny's my best boy because he helped me build this office and otherwise it would have taken me like seven and a half days and we did it like three and a half hours yeah was he um, your best boy i started black butler it's like the only <laughs> no, it's, pretty good, it's like the only new thing that's about my week like yeah, we yeah. recorded the last episode we recorded, like what, three, three days, days ago, ago yeah. yeah um i started black butler just a silly goofy time it's it's the silliest goofiest time <laughs> yeah, like, it's just a little boy and his devil yeah. it's fun it yeah 
I've seen like episode one and two. Have you have you felt the tension? Yeah. No, actually, You'll not yet. That. I know I've felt that like Sebastian's like the female gaze. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. I'm watching dub. Okay. The main kid, 100% not even hiding it, voiced by a woman for like a whole episode. I haven't I'm like, watched Black Butler in years. Whole episode. I'm like, is this a girl? Uh-huh. And I wonder if they're like, you know, 2008 or whatever. I wonder yeah. if 2008 anime is like, we can't have even like gay subtext. Like this needs to be, that would be a female. Honestly, like, that'd be very spot on. They'd be mm-hmm. like, yeah, like we can't have a man and a man flirting with each other but it was supposed to be a yaoi yeah. like that's the thing it's like it was supposed to be a yaoi and then they were like oh that's a little yeah. boy you know and then they're like good call <laughs> yeah like i would say generally a good thing yeah. to avoid i it's like do you know about how in sailor moon when it originally came out in america they've got like two like sailor jupiter and sailor mercury uh, are gay i think it's uranus is I, I lesbian gay lesbians uh, they're gay, which, gay lesbians which makes them straight <laughs> like it's one, one of those gays. <laughs> it was so long. It was a couple, of, couple of gay lesbians. Yeah. Um, but they're together in yeah. in Japan and in the American version, which is usually like not the case, at least today. Usually uh-huh. it's like Japan censoring shit. Mm-hmm. But um in the American version, they're like cousins, but they still flirt. Because you can't change the animation. Yeah, of course. Um, or like the voice or like the voice lines. Yeah. yeah. And so well, the voice lines are changed to be like like in the dub, they're cousins. Mm-hmm. So like they're changed, like they'll be like cuddling in a very sensual way or whatever. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, stop it, cousin. Like, you remember when we were kids? We always wrestled like this. Leave it to America <laughs> to be like, all right, what's yeah. not all right? Gay? What's all right? incest yeah like they're trying their best fine. yeah, yeah like, they're like listen i'm way more comfortable yeah. with cousin fucking than than, than, yeah. than two women oh are, shit like kissing yeah gross love that for us as a country uh but yeah black butler black, black butler. butler i don't even remember why i watched it i think one day i was just like doing my like i was like 16 when i it's watched popular. it it's it was it exists and in it's that. back oh i forgot it's about that back. do you want to talk about that Talk about what? Like, I, I've, I've finished talking about it. I mean, like, what? it's coming back. The I, anime is coming yeah, back. I mean, that's it. That's all I have on that. That's all the information you have. Yeah. Well, I haven't seen it before. So Way I was like, I'm not going to watch a trailer for this, like, thing I haven't seen. That's so, it's such a weirdly long hiatus. Yeah. They're like, oh, we'll just wait, like, I, like a decade and a half before we make, what, season two? Yeah. I think it's a great time to, it's, well, there's two seasons and, like, a few movies, I think. Mm-hmm. But, like, I think it's a great time because Bungo Stray Dogs is on the rise and that is Tumblr as hell too. Oh my god! I, I think it's the time for Tumblr. Now we just need Rosario plus Vampire to yeah. come back and Orin High School hi- Host Club, and we are set, baby. It's 2007 all over again. I almost, I almost mentioned a studio, so I won't. Okay. But there's a there like there's an anime. It's the time for Tumblr anime, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Like Absolutely. if a Kingdom Hearts anime came out, does one of those exist? That kill like. Like, no, actually. I okay. don't think so. Like, probably like an OVA, whatever the hell that is. Yeah. Like, stuff like that. What does OVA stand for? I don't know. It sounds gross. O- Overt Video Association. Nailed I don't it. know. Because it, it reminds me of, like, ovulating. <laughs> like, I don't like OVA. I feel like you're projecting there. It took me, like, two years to figure out what AMV stood for. Anime music video. Of course. Baby. Like, ob- like yeah. so incredibly obvious. Yeah. But I was just like, oh, man, a Slipknot AMV. Nice. <laughs> and I was like, I have no idea what that yeah. means. I was also like, eight yeah so i was like had no idea it was going on but that's a great best boy i mean yep. black butler it's 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 fine it's one of those ones you just watch and then you're like i forgot that happened yeah that's what you, but like i'm very happy that's for the fair. renaissance in your career of like <laughs> the tumblrification of anime all right my flashback is miyazaki's last movie the boy in the heron top of the box office in japan it made like an insane amount of money week one what it what is it called the boy in the heron no yeah the boy what's the fish it's a fish no. Yeah, not the harem. No, heron, as in the bird. Yeah, heron. Okay. I thought heron was a fish, first off. I thought you were saying the bird. boy in the harem. No, it's, well, And I I'm, was like, oh my God, breaking. Yeah, Miyazaki. Extra, extra. Miyazaki. Miyazaki's like, finally, we're doing tits. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> right before he commits seppuku. Yeah, like, like literally, he's like, like his entire career yeah. dedicated to like making women powerful main yeah. characters and like, here's some titties, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> like, see you later. Just like bashes his head at the premiere. <laughs> yeah. like, just a horrifying display. 
Hayao Miyazaki yeah. has slammed his, his writing pencil into his eyeball at the premiere of The Boy and the Hero. Wow. Yeah. Um, so it's like absolutely crushing it. We won't get it for yeah. a long time. We won't get it for a bit. No trailer. Like There's no trailer? They refuse to do marketing for it because he's like, you'll see it. I'm fucking Hayao Miyazaki. That's... that's- <laughs> such like a big dick energy like yeah. i literally like i can't even imagine being like imagine you spend like years making something and they're like should we promote this and you're like no no <laughs> if i build it they'll come yeah like, it's like literally. why 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 yeah. do you know i'm to waste money <laughs> I'm, ja- I'm japan's walt disney yeah. bitch like literally <laughs> like i will figure this out like people and you know what it worked yeah that's like Top of the box offices. Yeah. Like, nailed it. Huge. Like, why wouldn't it? I want to see it so badly. Yeah. But, like, we won't It'll get, get we won't get the subtitles for, like, what, three months, four months? Yeah. That's, wow. as long as it's this year, I'll be fine. To be a little, like, to be a little, like, uh. Oh, boy. Like, a little, a little inflammatory here. His last couple of movies. Not great. No, for sure. Like, I, not I don't great. Like, I don't like most of his movies. What do you mean? I like, here we go. How's Moving Castle. Of course. Good. Uh, Princess Mononoke, great. You're playing the hits. Um, Nausicaa, very good, very unfinished. Super not finished. I haven't watched it in years. I have no idea. It just stops. <laughs> it just stops <laughs> just happening. Like, it's just like they're in the middle of a fight and they're like, all right, roll screen. Yeah. Yes. They're in the middle of a war. Stops. <laughs> Film not done. Wild. Um, those I don't are, remember that. Those are great. Spirited Away, very good. Um, Castle in the Sky. Haven't seen Kiki, Ponyo? Kiki, bad. Ponyo, bad. Kiki, bad. Keep what? hitting me. What? Keep hitting me. Why I'll is go Kiki off. bad? Why is Kiki bad? Nothing happens. That's Wicked the, boring. It's calming. It's Super just, boring. It's about a witch who starts a delivery service. I don't want to watch Lo-Fi Beats the movie. That like, is, fucking what? Oh, my God. What? That's exactly what it is. It's so boring. It's it like all of the, like, boringness of Spirited Away. What about my neighbor Totoro? And nothing good. Boring. Okay. That's also, <laughs> you know what's about death? Apparently, yeah, apparently somebody explained funny. that to me recently i think it was daniel yeah. he was like it's about death apparently and I was like, he's death yeah, yeah i was like yeah I was like totoro was death and i was like i feel like yeah. we're looking too deep i think it's just about some bouncing people yeah. in the rain uh the wind rises allegedly boring haven't seen never it. never seen that looks boring what's uh what's the one with the pig porco russo haven't seen that one looks boring i haven't seen it the cat one looks boring what's the cat one he has so many fucking movies the cat one What's with the, the cat, cat and the top, like Mr. Cat comes to play. That's like not the that Cheshire far. Cat? It's maybe called Mr. <laughs> cat, cat comes to play. <laughs> Mr. Cat and the Mr. Hat. Like, I, yeah. Here. Yeah, the cat returns. <laughs> Mr. Cat comes to play. Okay. But that's the thing. That's a recent one. Like, I, like his recent movies aren't that great. So, like... I don't know. Like, I, I feel like this is his last one, so he's gonna put a lot of effort into it. So like, I'm excited to see it. But like, I think it's a World War II one, and I'm really Grave of Fireflies. He didn't do it. That's Ghibli. He didn't make it. Really? Yeah. Is that boring. Why, is that why it was? No. Boom. He didn't even make it, and I'll put it on blast. Ghibli makes movies without him. Yeah, I think Tales of Earthsea is also not him. That's so weird. Yeah, I think Princess Kaguya. He also didn't do. I feel like I, don't I know. could be wrong. On I don't that know one. any of these. Yeah. Grave of the Fireflies. I, I don't know if it's boring. It's it's horrible to watch. Grave of the Fireflies. You watch it once and you're like, that was enough emotional trauma for the rest of my life. I'm good. No, that's the thing. Is that that's, it's not sad? That's Yes. That's its reputation. <sighs> it's like, this is the saddest movie ever. It is. And then, and then you start watching it and it's a boy and a girl. And I'm like, wonder why. Wonder why it's so sad. And it's just what you think. There's no, that's it. It's exactly what you think. The it's second a, you start war. watching it. It's war. Yeah. It's a movie about like a real gripping tale about the horrors oh. of war. Yeah. If that grip is buttered up and slippery. Because <laughs> it didn't grip. Because it didn't grip. <laughs> we need to fucking end. All right. This is the part of the show where we get a love letter. Uh, not only are all of <laughs> Dragon Ball fans mad at us, Wait, but also. Wait, I didn't do my news. I have crazy news. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, you'll like this. It's crazy news. Yeah. Is that we've now been canceled as a show? <laughs> this has been a bad episode. Yeah. For- us um a new anime is coming out called lazarus crazy lineup okay huge lineup it's made by um uh shin shinichiro watanabe cowboy bebop samurai shampoo space daddy big big just uh, like incredibly stylistic makes space noirs but like also like obviously samurai shampoo is just in noir but yeah yeah like great writer great uh everything uh animation studio mappa whatever well no, they make everything well, so here's my well obviously yeah. but here's my thing is like shinichiro watanabe's style is very outside of the norm and i yeah. feel like mappa's 
doesn't have like a unique style. But lately, they're finding Jujutsu it. Kaisen, Chainsaw Man. They are they finding do. it a little bit. I, it's it's interesting though because it's not a unique style. It's like it's not like they don't have a style that's unique to them. It's just like they are now kind of trying to do everything. I would say Chainsaw Man, and Jujutsu Kaisen are like same thing. It, yeah, two like, sides of the same if, coin. If they do like two more anime that look like that, that's Mappa. That's look. their style. Because yeah. like Vinland Saga exists in incredibly like well done, but like just anime kind of whole. Yeah, and then like. I'm trying to think of other MAPPA projects. Like Attack projects. on Titan looks ugly. I think Tokyo like, Revengers is also MAPPA. I think so too. It looks like it. Also uh-huh. ugly. Don't mm. really like it. Guess what? Guess who's um like doing the fight choreography? The director of John Wick. That is weird. Isn't that weird? That's really weird. Isn't that kind of hype? <laughs> like it's, it makes sense. Because like, obviously yeah. he had to direct all of those. Actually, no, that makes sense. Because he had to direct all of the fight scenes in John Wick. But translating that to anime, I feel like he could do that. Hopefully. I feel like if, so how do you direct choreography? I feel like, do you just have people do it? And then you're like, do that. Like you, animate that. You come up, it's like coming up with a dance. I you guess. know, you like, and then yeah, it's like you film, I assume you do a photo reference, like film reference of the fight scene. And mm-hmm. then it's draw this. That, or you just draw it and you're like, he punches right over the, like. Well, it, mo- most animation has like reference. Like yeah. almost all animation, they will like film the motion of first. That's going to be wild. Yeah. Do you know what it's about? No. Is there a trailer? No. It's what called Lazarus. It? It's uh, got a jazz theme song, <sighs> like jazz uh, score. We've been yeah. missing that, man. Yeah, and yeah. this thing is Shinichiro Wap- uh, Watanabe always does oh. like jazz. No, I'm like, an idiot. It's sci-fi. I know that. Well, like, yeah, but, like, the soundtrack will be, like, jazzy. Yeah. And I love a jazzy soundtrack. Like, uh, like Afro Samurai is, like, uh, it's, like, a mix between jazz and R&B. Uh, Samurai Champloo, Space Daddy, Space Dandy, or, no, Scabba yeah. Bebop and Space Dandy are, like, really, like, jazzy. It's, yeah, like, yeah. with the... Yeah. Like, it's so iconic. I feel like, yeah, I feel like he, like, pioneered space jazz. Like, like right? Yeah, that's, like, like, a genre. Which is crazy, because, like, Star Wars tried to do it, like, decades ago with, like, they're, like... And I was, like, I hate this. I hate... It's, like, obviously, it's iconic, but I hate this. <laughs> yeah, playing on, like, the Gloobu phone. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know one song, is like, it's all the... Oh, we can play on the glob form. <laughs> like, it's, like, what are we doing here? But anyway... Now letters. we're going to go get our love letters. Yes. So Chad asks, what anime character death sent you into the deepest depressive spiral? And what would you like to go first? I'll, I'll do go a spoiler first. warning on whatever oh, show God, you're going to do. Of course, spoiler warnings. Like yeah. if you haven't seen all anime ever. The, well, say what anime you're going to you talk about. If you haven't seen Assassination Classroom, there we keep go. scrolling. Uh, Koro Sensei. Wow. I, wow. What a pull. Uh, listen, it's it's Koro Sensei like them like stabbing like the plastic knife into his yeah. chest and him just being like, don't do it with anger. Like yeah. do it. He was like, do it yeah. with love. Like otherwise, like you'll regret it for the yeah. rest of your life. And like, Nagi says, just like, stop teaching me. <laughs> 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 yeah. like the most iconic like most like tear felt i've ever be- like been in my entire life wow. outside of the other circumstance being marrowim i can't talk about this scene without tearing up marrowim uh-huh. and Kamogi. that death scene is one of the toughest in anime of all time i did a video explaining it on my youtube and just explaining it i was like sobbing Damn. openly like i like it's the reason is like the first big tattoo i got like i marowem's death like he goes from a monster to a human being and like the end of his journey becoming a human being is his death and how much like he's realized that life is meant to be lived for the people around you and then like him dying in the arms of the person he's meant to live with oh my god it's, <laughs> i i don't even I, like i skip it every time i rewatch hunter hunter because i cannot do it yeah tough Real tough. You're Go also ahead. so bad at spoilers. I that's fine. It's <laughs> spoilers it's, for Assassination Classroom. Uh, my worst death is Marowim. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. If you haven't uh, seen Hunter Hunter, you're, it's like a decade old. Um, mine spoilers for Demon Slayer, Rengoku. Okay, which is so impressive because I knew going in like. Demon Slayer fans you knew. love spoiling shit. I mean, all anime fans ever love spoiling shit. I, but not to me, because I'm a reaction channel. Gotcha. So they know the content is good if when I don't, don't know. When you don't know things, yeah. Not the case with Demon Slayer. Mm-hmm. Only this show, people still spoil it. How, like, purposely? They're like, haha, gotcha. Yeah, they're like, they're like, imagine not knowing that this guy is Tanjiro's dad, or blah, blah, blah. Like... It's nuts. It's crazy. I feel like because there's not decorum, because like a lot of Demon Slayer fans are only Demon Slayer fans. I, you know, because like, like Demon Slayer got a lot of people into anime, so it's like you don't know the rules. Mm-hmm. 
It's so weird. But so Rengoku, I knew ahead of time, which makes it extra impressive mm-hmm. because I was like, I hate this guy's character design. I hate him from like the two episodes I'd seen him in in season one. Oh God. And I was like, and I know he dies. Who mm-hmm. cares? I'm not going to get attacked. Get him out of here. Who gives a shit? Holy shit. Destroyed you. Absolutely eviscerated. Absolutely obliterated me. And like, I'm there with my girlfriend in the theater who I dragged to this movie mm-hmm. with my friend. Like she's like third she wheeling. Hasn't seen Demon Slayer. I haven't seen Demon Slayer. I like gave her homework, like a Demon Slayer summed up in three minutes video. I love that. Um, I'm there with my anime friend. Like she's third wheeling. Yeah. And like, the death is happening, and I like just roll over and grab her. I'm like, can you believe it? <laughs> help, 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 help. Cause it's like, oh god, like everything. It, it does a great job at showing his death's impact on Tondro and Anosuke yeah. and everybody and all the people around him. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's done so well. Anosuke like flailing and crying <laughs> is horrible. Um, that's probably my favorite scene in Demon Slayer. Like the so tears good. coming out of the mask <laughs> yeah, and like, like, stop crying. It's so good. And just like what it means for Tanjiro and all the Hashiro where it's just like he had an opportunity not to die yeah. in front of all of these newbie Demon Slayers. And he's like, ah, cause it's like, be a demon. Like, fuck this. This sucks. And then he's like, no, I'm going to die for this. I know I won't beat you. I need them to see it's not worth being a demon. Yeah. And dies for them. It's so good. It's so good. I also yeah. like the scene with his mother. I'm actually getting that tattooed in yeah. a couple of months. Yeah. I'm getting Ren Goku's death with like his mother's message like above yeah. him on my thigh. I literally just, I, like a guy in Ontario, California just hit me up and he was like, I want to tattoo you. That's and I was like, well, what do we want to do? And I was like, I, I don't know, Ren Goku's death. And he was yeah. like, okay, let's do it. So yeah, absolutely iconic. Um, but yeah, no, there's so many good ones out there. I mean, like, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I'm going to get yelled at for spoilers. Just say spoiler. No, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, and that is going to be everything we have for the week, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first episode from the new office wrapped. Wow. Look at us. We have a nice, cute little backdrop. We have an expensive, very heavy desk that we got for free. Uh, shout out to Secret Labs for, I guess, kind of sponsoring today's video. Uh, outside of that, guys, make sure you follow us on all of the other platforms, Instagram, TikTok. We don't have a threads, but that's fine. Um, and make sure you support Danny as an endeavor to watch Black Butler. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll watch Hunter x Hunter at some point. Oh, also. yeah, you'll get around to it. I'll I mean, you literally it. asked your fans, what should I watch? And they chose Black and Butler. And they said not Hunter <laughs> Which is insane to me. Um, I'm Danny Mata, uh, otherwise known as Dmata3 on TikTok uh, and Dmata on Instagram. Mm-hmm. That's three, three T's. T's. Three T's. Mm. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for having me every week. Every single week. <laughs> every week. The drive just got doubled, so who knows yeah. if he's going to actually keep making it. But we love you, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm.